Hey everyone, I'm Suncast from BlackberryOS.com and today I'm going to show you a program called Blackberry Swiss Army Knife, also known as BBSAK. It's a nifty little program that almost just almost replaces desktop manager. You can back up your third party apps, you can restore your third party apps, you can wipe the operating system, load an operating system, and a couple other things like taking a screenshot. You got just one COD file that you want to install, you can do that. It's a really great program. To save time, I've already installed the operating system that I need to install on my phone. And the first thing you have to do if you're installing an operating system that's for a different carrier. I have a T-Mobile Curve 8320, but I'm installing an operating system that's really for another carrier. What you have to do first is delete a file called vendor.xml. If you don't delete this file, then you're not going to be able to move on and install the operating system. So the first thing you have to do is open up Windows Explorer. You can right click the start button and choose Windows Explorer. Pops up a little box and what you want to look for is C drive. Now if you're on a Windows 32-bit system you'll just see program files but if you're on a 64-bit system you'll see program files x86. That's the one you want. Click on that. Next. Look for common files. Then underneath that research in motion. This is where you're going to find a lot of research in motion stuff installed. Click on app loader. That's going to where you'll find the uh, vendor.xml file. S select that and delete it. Alright, so now we can open BBSAK. I'm going to do this a little bit differently because I'm recording stuff. But there's an icon on your desktop and you just click on BBSAK that'll open the application for you. Now when you first open BBSAK you'll see it'll ask you for a password. If your device has a password go ahead and enter it. If not just leave it blank. I don't have one on my device so I'm just leaving it blank. I already have my phone connected to the computer so when BBSAK opens it's already connected. If you don't already have it connected go ahead connect it to your computer and press connect on BBSAK. Now that your phone is connected, you should be able to see that it says PIN and your PIN number. That signifies that you're definitely connected to BBSAK with your phone. Now we can go ahead and back up our data. One thing that I should mention is that BBSAK does not back up your PIN information such as your calendar, your address book, Blackberry Messenger contacts, all that stuff you still need to back up using Desktop Manager. To back up, it's very, very, very easy. All you have to do is press the Backup Apps button and it'll start backing up. It'll say BlackBerry screen may flash during backup. You'll see it on your BlackBerry screen. It'll flash a little bit. So depending on how many apps you have will depend on how long this will take. If you have a lot of apps, it'll definitely take a little bit longer. You can see on your computer screen, your cursor will probably flash a little bit. And at the end, it'll pop up a message saying that you're done. There we are, third party apps backup completed. And you can go ahead and click OK. So now that we have our third party applications backed up, we can go ahead and wipe the device. It's very, very, very easy. Really, all you have to do is press wipe device. It'll ask you if you're sure. It's a low level wipe, just click yes. And then just, like I said, it's very, very quick. You'll get another pop up that says wipe completed. Go ahead and click on OK. After you wipe the device, you'll notice that the LED light on your device comes on and the screen goes black. It's rebooting. This is normal. It'll come back on with the white screen and hourglass and then it should have a little icon right in the middle of the screen and underneath this icon it should say 507. This means that there's absolutely no operating system present on your device. This is good. This is exactly where we want to be at this point. 
To load the operating system, all you got to do is click on Load OS. This will actually launch Loader.exe, which you've probably seen in some other um, installation guides. It'll say, Welcome to the Application Loader Wizard. Go ahead and click Next. It'll say connection USB pin with your pin number. You should be able to see that. If you don't see that, you definitely have a problem and you should probably try and figure it out. Uh, you could try removing the battery. If you got your pin number, go ahead and click next. It'll say reading device application, go through some stuff. Then if you click next again, it'll say device application selection. You can, you know, select all the programs that you do want installed. You can verify that the programs you want are going to be installed. I checked off a couple of things like memo pad, Blackberry Messenger because it wasn't checked for some reason. So go ahead and select whatever programs you want and click next. Once you do that, it'll give you a little review of everything that's going to be done. It'll say I'm um, going to install 4.5, Blackberry Messenger, memo pad. Just go ahead and click next. It'll say it's updating your device. It'll go through a whole bunch of things. This is where it really, really takes a long time. Once it gets to erasing applications, it usually takes about 10-15 minutes for it to go through and erase the applications.